All right, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lady Kazum. All right, your host on this channel. Thank you for subscribing to my video during work. I hope you wrote very well. All right, so we'll be looking at Ke Neko Chemistry Podcast 2025 Qualitative Analysis, Sort Analysis. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please quickly do that. Let's dive right in. Neko Chemistry Podcast 2025 qualitative analysis, sort analysis. So let's look at sample given for sort analysis for NECO 2025. So we have PDN3 and uh, K2SO3. So if you analyze this sort, you're going to be have PB2 plus as the cations, and you're going to be having O2 oxygen gas, NO2 oxygen gas, and NO3 ion being given. Maybe your pattern is supposed to be ordinary what? Minus another sort given is K2SO4. We can have your what your potassium, two molecules of your potassium here. We can also have SO3 2 minus as the ion. So probably depending on the radiant given, so you'll be able to know what exactly you are testing for. We will be testing for PB2 plus oxygen gas NO2 NO3 SO3. So let's play that right in. So you know how to do your table, test, observation, inference, and the likes. What if you are asked to dissolve a sample? See, you are given to sample. Your C sample, of course, is what? Is uh, PBNO32. All right. So we have to dissolve this sample in water. Then you test with litmus paper. So if you dissolve that sample in water, you're going to be having it to actually dissolve. Then give you a colorless solution. Don't forget. So your inference will be sample C is a soluble salt. That is it dissolving water. That's what you can actually infer. When you test with litmus paper, of course, we have two types of litmus paper. We have blue and we have what? We have red litmus paper. So the solution actually turns blue litmus paper red. So it means sample C. The solution of sample C is what acidic to litmus. Now, taking a portion of the solution that we have actually dissolved now, we'll divide into several portions so that I can see possible uh, questions that are likely come from Neko. Neko are very, very smart. Very, very smart. So just follow me. All right. First portion of now plus sodium hydroxide in drops. Then in, in, in drop, we're going to have white powdery precipitate form. So likely ions, you can have uh, cation of Ca2 plus, so then 2 plus, Pb2 plus, because in in excess, all of them are soluble. So check it out. They are soluble in sodium hydroxide. So let's check uh, some other reactions. What if we are also asked to take another portion and react it with ammonia, both in drop and in excess? So we do have a white specific form. Of course, you repeat your ions. Look at the ions. Then precipitate now insoluble. Precipitate insoluble now knock off or kick out zinc because zinc is actually soluble in ammonia. So PB is not soluble. And at the same time, calcium is not so soluble. All right, depending. Take another portion of it plus dilute HCA, then you warm. If you do that, we're going to have a white precipitate form. Precipitate dissolve on heating and reappears. On what? On cooling. In fact, it's supposed to be a white crystalline. Let's add crystalline. A white crystalline precipitate. Please add crystalline. A white crystalline precipitate form. Precipitate dissolve on eating and reappear. So PB present. PB has these properties of, uh, of uh, crystalline. Another portion of our solution, they call it fourth portion plus uh, K2CR2. This is a confirmatory test for lead. So we're going to have a yellow precipitate which confirm the presence of lead. Remember our salt giving us PB2 plus inside. So we have confirmed PB. So let's clear more for that. Five, five portion from strong eating. If you eat this, you have to have a colorless, odorless uh, gas involved, which we can use on what? On glowing splinter. That's our oxygen gas, which is coming from NO3. Minus. Hope you are following. Make sure you remember to subscribe to the channel. Now, if we pick another portion, 
plus dilute HCL this time around. You're going to have a what? A reddish brown gas with an irritating smell evolve, which turns blue this one separate red and starch iodated paper what? Black. What happened? We have NO2 gas from what? From NO3. So salt that is present. Now, if you pick ordinary sample C, remember this is a solution, a chaos of sample C. I say sample C solid. If you eat it, you're going to have a reddish brown gas evolved. The, the gas is so irritating. We call it irritating smell evolved, leaving a yellow residue. When you check that, you see yellow residue. That's NO2 gas evolved from NO3. All right. Now, when you look at the seventh portion, plus uh, freshly prepared, you're going to have an hypothesis. A brown gas irritating smell evolved, which turns the most bright red. Specifically, when you add that conk H2SO4, you're going to have a brown ring. Okay, which form at the junction of the two layers. So you see that it comes this way or come this manner. Did you get that? Reddish brown foam. That involves NO2 what? NO2 gas from NO3, NO2 gas from NO3 present in that particular area. Of course, in the region given, FeSO4 was not there and HS4 was also there. But you know, we can't predict uh, the exam body you can bring anything since it's PB, NO3. All right, did you get that? So let's go move to the second part, which is uh, uh, so D. But before that, you know that PBNO3 can actually decompose to give us what PBO2 and what an NO2 gas. So we say on strong eating, it crackles and uh, melts and decompose to eat uh, the respective uh, compounds or oxygen gas, uh, nitrogen, uh, NO2 gas. A flame test of lead. Gives you what a bluish what a bluish color. So let's play go to so D. So D now is K. Remember, is K two S O three. So we are expecting our S O three. So so D now plus the still water plus litmus. We're going to have it dissolve soluble, give a colorless solution, and it turn red litmus paper blue. So some of these, of course, is soluble in water. And is an alkaline. Okay. Now, so D now plus the solution of D now plus KMNO4. The purple color, KMNO4 decolorizes. Okay, it decolorizes. That is what? That is a reducing agent. So just forget about this precipitate. Okay. Now, another so D, a portion of this solution, D plus BACA and then plus dilute HCA. So the white precipitate is formed, precipitate is soluble in what it's uh, very important so our ions are co3 to minus s2 minus so 3 to minus so 4 to minus and where in ss we are likely to have co3 to minus or so3 to minus but let's see how to confirm our so3 so when you add dilute hcl you have a purple color of chemical which turns colorless it shows that so3 to minus is what is actually uh, present. Now, how do you confirm my SO3? When you add the portion with the electricity, say, then you won't. You got to go have a percent uh, occur, the colorless guy with irritating smell uh, is evolved, which turns blue, this must be a red, and the colorless came in O4, which is purple color. All right. Then you can confirm SO3. Flame test of the salt will give a violent. Or lilac slight purple indicating the presence of SO3. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Signing out.